Hello and welcome in this new tutorial for your Zephram Data Acquisition Solution DAS220 and DAS240. In this video, we will see how to easily set up a channel with your device. To access to the channel settings, press channel and choose the channel wanted. You can also access to channel settings by pressing directly on the tabular on your left. Firstly, rename your channel. In our case, it will be pressure. You choose the color and the thickness of the trace. Now let's define our signal type. Here we are using an external sensor with a 0 10 volt output. You can add a signal filter in order to cut unwanted disturbance. This setting determines the period integration of the channel. This function will be detailed in a future video. Use the function change unit to set your scaling. We will set 0 volt for 0 bar and 10 volt for 20 bars for our pressure sensor. This menu enables to set properly your channel range. It will define the display range of your signal. In our case, we estimate the pressure can vary from 0 bar to 20 bars. Then, we define a range of 25 bars. It's possible to define another reference for the central value of the measurements range displayed. Move your zero following the signal range to display. Here, since we can have a negative pressure, the zero will be at its minimum to have the maximum value corresponding to 0 25 bars range. You can eventually set thresholds and display them on the graph. Make sure channel validation is activated. If you want to attribute the exact same settings to other channels, use copy to channel. You can also save the setup of your device. We will see this point on another video. This tutorial is now over. Thank you for watching and see you soon for more videos.